we're going to talk about distances and areas in this video. And the first problem is we are throwing a stone into a vat of molasses or something thick that slows it down. So um, it moves for four seconds and it moves with velocity 10 times the square root of 16 minus t squared centimeters per second. And we want to know how far does it go in those four seconds. So we can make a table of how fast it's going at time zero, at time one, at time two, at time three, and at time four. And based on that table, we're going to try to figure out how fast it went, how far it went. And we know it's slowing down. So in the first second, it's going at a speed somewhere between 40 and 38.7 centimeters per second. In the second second, it's going somewhere between 38.7 and 34.6. In the third second, it's going somewhere between 34.6 and 26.5. And in the fourth second, it's going somewhere between 26.5 and 0. So if we write that down, we know that in the first second, the distance it moves is somewhere between 38.7 and 40 centimeters because that's the speed times one second. We know it was going between 34.6 and 38.7 centimeters per second. In one second, it went between 34.6 and 38.7 centimeters. In the third second, between 26.5 and 34.6. In the fourth, between zero and 26.5. So the total is somewhere between 99.8 and 139.8. And it, so we call 99.8 a lower bound. We call 139.8 an upper bound. And a good guess is the average, which is 119.8. That's it. Now we're going to try to figure out an area problem. So we did distance. Now we'll do area. We want to find the area under the curve y equals 16 minus x squared between x equals 0 and x equals 4. And there's a picture of it. And we can do the exact same strategy. We divide the region into four strips, but strip between 0 and 1, 1 and 2, 2 and 3, and 3 and 4. And then we have to figure out what is the area of the, of the first strip. Well, the area of the first strip is, well, the first strip, the top of it is the curve, and the bottom is the x-axis, and its width is 1. Now, how high is it? Well, everything here is at least this high, and it's at most this high. And in the second strip, everything is at least this high, and at most this high. In the third strip, it's at least this high, and at most this high. In the fourth strip, it's at least this high, and at most this high. So the area of the first strip is somewhere between 3.87, that's the value up here, and 4. The area of the second strip is somewhere between 3.46 and 3.87. The area of the third is somewhere between 2.65 and 3.46. And the area of the fourth is somewhere between 0 and 2.65. Once again, we add things up. And our total area is somewhere between 9.98 and 13.98. And if you want the average, that's 11.98. What does the average mean geometrically? Or what does the upper and lower mean geometrically? The lower bounds are the areas of these deeply shaded rectangles. So this has area 3.87. This has area 3.46. This has area 2.65. This has area 0. The upper bounds are the areas of the lightly shaded regions. So this has area 4. This has area 3.87. This has area 3.46. This has area 2.65. And what's the average? Well, the average, we take all the dark region and half of the stuff on top. So we're by taking half of what's on top, what we're doing is we're not adding the areas of a bunch of rectangles. We're adding the areas of a bunch of trapezoids, which is why taking the average of the upper bound and the lower bound is called the trapezoidal rule. One last thing. This curve 
you could rewrite it as y squared is 16 minus x squared, or x squared plus y squared equals 16. It happens to be a circle of radius of radius 4. Now, it's not the entire circle. It's just a quarter circle. It's a part of the circle in the first quadrant. So what's the area of that circle? One fourth of pi r squared. So that's four pi, which is around twelve point uh, five six. So in fact, the trapezoidal rule was a pretty good approximation. Not great, but it's definitely bet much better than using either the lower bound and the upper bound. And since this problem was identical to doing the problem of the projectile, the distance the projectile moved was actually 4 pi times 10.